Right, High Street in Wooler. If I just pan round up that road down the back where you can see those people standing, round that corner is one of the primary care doctor surgeries. Um, Wooler's got lots of lovely little shops. One over there called Stephanie Louise. She does all fancy little things as you can see. Coming down in front you've got the post office. Um, we'll just step into the road. You've got the ironmongers here. You've got the good life shop, it's the delicatessen. You've got the barbers over there. There's a family butcher shop. You've got this side which is Ramblers, that's a cafe. Then you've got the crafty collection. All sorts of stuff in there. Post office and various little I mean the place is just full of antiques, antique shops. They love their antiques here by all accounts. Uh, pubs, cafes, chocolate shops, you name it pretty much it's here. Um, so this is the main high street and I'll photograph a little bit more when I get further down so you can see the posh co-op. Obviously pharmacy, more little shops. Air salon, farm bakery over there, grinders coffee shop, wool, wool shop, coming up to the pubs, opticians. There is a foot clinic in Wooler just around the corner, collector's emporium over there, gallery basically antiques. The Angel Inn, chocolate box shop, um, the Black Bull Pub, number one hotel and wine lounge over there, flooring flowers by the looks of it. I come this way Over there, home care. Brian. Got a takeaway. We've got Follow the Spirit. It's now starting to rain a little bit. Looks like a distillery, it says on there. Then right over there, the poshest co-op I've ever seen. Stuck inside that building. We've got a cafe outside here. And the building there, I'm assuming that used to be a bank, and that's now the beauty bank. Various churches. So that's the main high street in Wooler. Another antique shop that goes round and up the hill. Pretty much most of the houses in Wooler, where they're situated, you can walk to the main high street. Got an oriental kitchen, Chinese takeaway up there. Wooler Common. And I think, obviously, any way round that way is going to take you to the uh, Northumberland National Park. So, that's the high street for the minute. Leaving the high street now... Is it on, darling? Mm -hmm. uh, leaving the high street now... We're going to head to uh, Rycroft Way. I'll put my seatbelt on. So, as I point there that is round to where the primary care is dead doctors this is Rycroft way nice and gently down here there is one for sale coming up on the left here but it is a little bit overlooked at the back that was in 387 or something, that one. Gosh. And the one that we're going on about is this one here. Turn my 
myself around for a minute. Side here is the veterinary group. The bus stop here, right bus outside. Stop so obviously that was within easy walking distance of the high street. So I'm not going to continue straight up. I'm just going to take this road, Glendale Road. And I'm going to take this road here, which is Victoria, oh, sorry, Queen's Road. <laughs> and the other one, the other house that's tucked away, which is the £440,000 one, so if you start showing that side. road down there so that driveway takes you down to where the house is and that's the one that's tucked away down there and then either of these little roads here Victoria Road will take you back down to the high street um, back into the town that's a short tour of uh, the high street in Woola right leaving Queen's Road So even the house that was further down on Rycroft, if you walked up and took this or Glendale, will bring you back to the main high street. Nice little walk along. There is the co-op on the corner and this road is called church road so i'm going to turn left actually now at this junction and this is one of the main roads that comes up to woola from the a697 um, and this down here is where this farm to free shop is just off the a967 and then the garden center and the milk bar So if we turn left at this junction, that takes you on to Coldstream. Over the little bridge over there, could take you to Chatton on to Bamford, uh, Bamborough, sorry. And I'm gonna turn right here, because this is the way we came in from Blythe. This is the A697. And then on your right here, you'll see the farm to freeze store. So this is Sunday, the butchers are not open, but it's got another little grocery store in there and it's all local produce. On your left, you have the river down there, if you can see that. Here you've got the fire station and they've got a, a little fish and chippy thing there. And it does look as though something's going to be built here, I don't know quite what. But that other road here, as we go over the bridge, is the other road up into Woola and obviously the National Park takes you other way. So that's that road here is the other way up into Woola. We'll come over the river arm. And then here in front of us, if that car gets out of the way, we've got the milk bar. And Riverside Bar Food and Grill. And then we've got a garden centre. We're just going to park here for a minute and go be nosy in the garden centre. So that's just two outside Woola. So yeah, two minutes drive outside Woola. So that's that and the river in front of us. Shame it's raining. Lovely jug. Yeah. Right, this is outside of Woola. We're heading into the National Park. <laughs> Love these little roads. Just seen a wall in for squirrel crossings and uh, hedgehogs. And there we go again, slow squirrel crossing.
Valley. Let's go this way. Oh, the postman comes out. Here's a post box. I'm surprised I survived. Still got a lot of people living here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that says. Oh, that's a 1 in 15, but it says it's a dead end. So we can Well, I don't know. Yes, you can. I don't know what that, that meant. Oi. Keep going. Pheasants. They're like looking after the wildlife up here. Now this will be fun. We have to turn around and come back down. Come on, baby. Come on. That's it. That's it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Might have to jettison somebody in a minute. <laughs> no, we made it. Lovely. It's alright, we've got supplies. Of course, we've got the obligatory ham sandwiches and Kit Kats. There's the light. We've made it. So, heart to Thorpe Valley, apparently, this is. That's the Cheviot Hills, we believe, obviously, which is part of the Northumberland National Park. Okay. For a minute. Steep hill. Yeah, very Ready? steep. Right. We've just crossed, crossed the cattle grid. It's saying Northumberland Are we National to Park. Go down there? And I'm just looking at the road. I'm, scary. I'm getting a bit scared about no, no, that. No, no, no. Yes, we can. We can do oh, that. Yeah, again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Okay. We can see the bottom. <laughs> this is where we find out if the brakes work. Where are your brake pads, aren't they? Right, so we're now in the Northumberland National Park. We can see where the road's oh, going. Oh, look. Right around there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good, thank God we got a small car. Oh. I suppose now is the time to check that we've got petrol. Yes, we do have petrol. So all of this is a park? All of this is part of the Northumberland National Park, yes. An area of outstanding national beauty. And it's not hard to see why. Right on the doorstep of... Like right, right on the doorstep of Wooler. This is just one oh, of people there are parking people out here because they're oh, walking. Walk. But this is Hartthorpe Valley, but you've got all all other ones as well. You've got Beamish Valley. There's all different parts of it. Oh, what are they looking at? Must be a river. Don't step back. Oh yes, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh well. It's a big lump in the road. Come on, sunshine, come out. It's about what, half past two in the afternoon. Take care. Sheep and cattle grazing. Yes, we know the walk over is the river's going down over there. Oh, this is lovely. So it's yeah, it's like the Lake District. Obviously, Scotland reminds me of as well. Certainly, test the suspension on the car. That's lovely. Just need the sun to come out a bit more. Oh, there's going to be a view round here. I think there's a big Cheviot Hill. 
It's a bit scary, isn't it, the one at the top? It's yeah, like, I couldn't see that road. It was just like, right, is that a 1 in 15 going down? I'm assuming this comes out somewhere. Yeah, I think I can see another car up here. It's the other end of this park. So I'm hoping that we don't have to come back this way because I'd like to think we can get for, you know. We should be able to get yes, another. Uh, that's, well, that's why I was wondering that thing said it was a T junction, no through road, but I don't know if it meant for that house. I'd hate to think we've got to come all the way back. There's a car up there. Somebody else to stop, probably to go walk in. I can't see anybody. It's like Some of the local inhabitants that we've just had to chase up the road. There's midges out here, I'm getting bitten. <laughs> <laughs> 